What it do, Dope Nation? It is Dope Ass Podcast. I am DG. I got a guest in here today. She goes by the name of Jerry, but she asked me, why do I go by DG? Because she knows me by my real name, folks. So when I told her DG, she asked, she was like, you know, is that your stage name or whatnot? What is mine going to be? So I was telling Jerry, like, how my, um, and your name spelled dope, J-E-R-I. Correct. You feel me? I was telling Jerry, like, you know where my name derived from, you guys. And uh, what's that? Okay. Is that coming from my phone? It's feedback. I was telling her where it came from. And uh, my name come, I, I, gra- I grabbed my name back in 2015. Mm-hmm. And it started off, it was D. I, I was working with this older guy. Um, I met him. And, um, you know, he the one who even sparked my, my um, sparked me to even getting back into, like, even trying to pursue radio and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So um, I used to do, the, do his radio show with him. And I was the engineer. You just do the audio and shit like that, and the visuals work that for him. Okay. And um, eventually, you know, just by doing it, I, I, I eventually started talking on the show and stuff like that. And he used to call me some weird ass name. I can't even remember, or I can't remember it, but it was some, some Dave, some, some Dave. And that shit was like, man, that shit corny. Don't call me that. You know what I'm saying? And I had, I was, I went home. He's like, well, shit, what I'm gonna call you then? You know what I'm saying? So I went home and I was thinking about it. And. I always be like, when I'm talking to people, I'm like, shit, it's cool. Everything cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I was always saying cool, and everything's always cool to me. So it's like, I was like, okay, cool. I don't want to go by cool. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? So, cool. I, yeah, just <laughs> cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, man? My name cool. I ain't want to be that. That shit's so regular, you know, and it's, it's nothing behind it. It's no substance. So I was like, how can I incorporate that? You know what I'm saying? So I went with DG Cooley. DG Cool. I'm sorry. DG Cool. Okay. My instant name, DG Cooley. That's where the Cooley came from. But it was like DG Cool. And I'm like, okay, I went by that for a minute. I got my own radio show. And I used to be like, what they do with your boy DG Cool, the coolest guy you're going to ever meet? You know what I'm saying? So that's something I went by. Then I met somebody. It was like, because every time I meet people, I'd be like, hey, what's, what's up? I'm DG Cool, the coolest guy you're going to ever meet. Mm-hmm. You know, and the one dude I was on, um, shout out to DJ Brand New. He over there at uh, iHeartRadio. He DJ for them. Okay. He was like, you ain't cool because if you was cool, you wouldn't have to say you was cool. I say, damn, you right though. True. I'm like, you right though. So I dropped the cool and I just be like, DG, DG. I started going by just DG. Because you're going to find out I'm cool in the, at the end of the day, you feel me? Okay. But yeah, it came from that. Like, and um, yeah, it just came from this guy, man. He actually dead right now. Like, just, All you know right. what I'm saying? My, I would say, like, I was I would call him my mentor, Don Juan. Uh-huh. He died crazy. I was up here. I had really gotten the thick of what I was doing. You know, I started venturing off doing my own thing. Uh-huh. And he just, I remember I had, my mom actually told me. She was like, um, such and such, you know, he he died, right? I'm like, no, when? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was a shocker to me because he had been dead. His funeral was coming up and he had been, I didn't even know nothing about it. What, uh, what happened to him? He was in Miami. He used to ride motorcycles. Now, he was like 50-something years old. He was an older cat. Mm. He got into a bad accident in Miami, and he died. Oh, wow. Well, shit, at least he died doing something he enjoyed, it seemed like, and in Miami. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was out there, but it, it kind of fucked me up. But So it was like, damn, I know I can't quit now because he sparked the interest in me, and it's like I got to keep going, like chasing after what I want to chase after because he showed me you can do whatever you want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, like I say, he was 50. So he was past, you know, yeah. his prime of doing what he was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I picked up, and I'm just trying to keep pushing the gas on it. Marathon continues. You know what I'm saying? Just keep pushing the gas on it. And, um, yeah. I don't think you need a name, though. I like Jerry. No, I think I need a name just because. All right, so earlier today, I went to the bank, and a lady, she was looking at all my paperwork or whatever, and she was like, hey. Um, what's your dad's name? Mm-hmm. So I'm telling him, you know, my dad's name, Jerry. So he's like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And mm-hmm. I was like, um, yeah, so is my brother, so. Your brother named Jerry? All y'all Jerry's? Yeah, so my dad. Why y'all Jerry? all Jerry's? I guess my mama just loved my daddy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's different. It is. <laughs> hey. I want all my babies to have my name. Yes, yeah. yes, sir, daddy. But the story I was told, he, um, 
initially, I, I guess they thought I was going to be their last child. And he wanted one of his children named after him. So yeah, you got his name. I got his name. Um, but yeah, our name just, I'm the only one that's name spelled a little different from the rest of them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a little, little story. So where you from, Jerry? Memphis. Tennessee. Tennessee, yes, sir. Why are you in Atlanta, Jerry? You know, I, I found it out as soon as I got here. Nobody here is from here. It's, a, it's only a select few of us dope-ass individuals. Yeah, you know what I'm guys. saying? It's a few of us, but, uh, you know, it's a, we, we overtaken by everybody else from everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Even, mm -hmm. yeah, just that. Uh, I ended up here um, by a series of events. So it ain't like nothing planned. It's just something that just happened. Yeah. You know? Just found my way, and I just ain't left yet. <laughs> mm. Well, that was cool. Yeah, it's dope out here. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, it's real diverse. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different people out here. It run me a lot of home, too, in a lot of ways. It do? Yeah, definitely. Memphis. Memphis. Who run Memphis out there? Dolph or goddamn? Hey, Got so it. This, this, this is a big thing back home. Well, I don't, I don't know. So, in my personal opinion, I like God just because it's a loyalty thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he was out first. Yeah. He did a lot. He did a lot for the city. He did. And if you talk to anybody from Memphis, everybody know. I don't know. Maybe it's like this for Atlanta, but I know when I went to college, I went to school in uh, North Carolina. I was asking people, you know, like, what's y'all see the anthem? Like, what what's one song that come on? Like, you at a concert, you at a club, everybody yeah. in your city gonna know that know the song word for word. Yeah. Nobody else has that. What but, song is that for y'all? You got Gotti, you got Juicy J, you got okay, Project okay. Pat, Three Six Mafia. Yeah, all the people got you know hit songs. Yeah, um, we got that though. We yeah, got yeah. got that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but if you you put when you start talking about, I guess city anthems, mm -hmm. Dolph's not really in that in that conversation. Oh, why not? He got that preach. Yeah. That shit, with, but oh, it ain't new too. We talking yeah. about classics. Okay. Okay, that is old though. That like leave about three to four years old. Yeah, but it ain't Project Pat Gorilla Pat. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that I'm thinking about Yo Gotti and you know what I'm saying and with like your black youngsters. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just saying like Yo Gotti versus like Yo Gotti versus because it's really like Yo Gotti versus Dolph. Right, right, right. But you know, okay, so that whole beef come about a woman, right? Mm-hmm. About a woman. I think is it. I think Gotti baby mama is up. Yeah. You uh, you can't never win when a nigga hit your baby mama. You done lost right there. That mean the loyalty done left already. That mean you done pissed your baby off that mad that she went and fucked with the enemy. Think about it. I mean, does it really mean anything? That's anything? A lot. If he already made a song saying, shit, after I fuck your home, I'm going to tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? He, he's made music saying he don't even you know care about it. So does it really apply? Who, Gotti? Gotti, yes. He going to fuck your home and then tell you about it? You never heard that song? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, I got to put you on. I mean, but Dolph did it to him. True. He did woman and told him about it. Yeah. Do you think that hit was put out by Yo Gotti, though, whenever Dolph got hit? Honestly. I mean, we never, we would never know. You weren't there, so. I mean, I would think so. I would. If I was, I mean, if I was a man knowing how you guys pride and everything. Is yeah. Still, I, I, I mean, I'm trying to I, get I this past this little that. hole or whatnot. That's why I ain't past it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would understand if he did. <laughs> Who else put his hat on like that? Who else he got beef with? That shit crazy. That what I I really wouldn't. I, that's the only thing about it. Like it ain't that serious to me. You feel me? Like life too precious to just, you know. Like one y'all all rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all getting money your own perspective ways. Y'all want to be king of what Memphis? Nick, you. Of it y don't matter because you die tomorrow. <laughs> it gonna be another king of Memphis. You feel me? Like it's about at that point. It's about just getting the money to me. You feel me? Like we get we're in a position to where we done we done we done hit the right code to actually open up the piggy bank. You know what I'm saying? We get money prospectively in our own rights. That was you how you broke that down too. I'm blaming it on you. Man, yeah, okay. you busted open that way. I take the L. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. You got to. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> but uh, so you don't think disrespect um, should be addressed? Hell yeah. But we did 2019, and honestly, like the older you get, the grown you supposed to get mentally. You feel me? Everything coming to perspective. You feel me? But it's egos that get in the way. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm your guy, man. This nigga ain't finna come disrespect me. Nah, he ain't. Just like, just like I ain't trying to get off because I'm gonna bring it right back to that. Just like Nikki with um Nikki with Cardi B. If she would have embraced Nikki 
and look like how Future them do. Future embrace these young niggas coming up. Okay. You know why? Because if Future do songs, these young niggas coming up, or if you, you do songs, these young niggas coming up, that's gonna keep you relevant. You know why? Because you reach their fan base, and they fan base coming, they checking you out, and you like, and they younger. You know what I'm saying? That's same. That's all Nicki had to do was embrace Cardi. Okay, so two things. Mm-hmm. I think the relationship between men to men and women to women is totally different. How you guys embrace? I one do. Another. Secondly, um, I don't think that Nicki did not not embrace um, Cardi B. I mean, I think she just let her come in and find her way. I mean, I guess people wanted her to go out her way and put her under her wing or whatever. It ain't. I don't. Th- nah, I ain't looking. I ain't thinking about it like that. I ain't even talking about it like that. Okay. My people probably be, did think like that, but it's like, nah, Nikki, you you a boss. Like mm-hmm. you, you know what I'm saying. You you the vet in this. Right. It's not the sense of you. Hey, Cardi, come here, be my friend. It ain't that. It's that you know that it's adulation there for you. She's goddamn. You know what I'm saying. She's idolizing you. You know what I'm saying. You the queen bee of it. Like when she was when Cardi B when she got her buzz, she wasn't still Nikki. She still ain't Nikki. Right. You know what I'm saying. So. When Cardi B, when Cardi B got damn, you know, tried to, you know, they should have, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know the stipulations of it. So I, it's kind of hard for me to really talk about. But it's just like, I felt like Cardi B would have, if, if Cardi, Cardi B would have got the opportunity to come at her with respect, she would have came with respect. You know what I'm saying? I don't th- I think Nikki probably was standoffish with that and didn't want, because I think she felt like her spot was in jeopardy. But that's the difference between man and woman. Yeah. Like, you got to know who you are. And I, and I felt like that's what Nikki, didn't understand about herself like Nicki, you Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I think Nicki knows she's Nicki Minaj, but I don't feel like people give, she doesn't feel like she gets that recognition for who she is and how good she is. I think people throw her under the radar because I'm not really sure why they do that. It's always only one woman for some odd that reason. And she was hearing that about Cardi, like that, you know, she was hearing the chatters about Cardi being, you know, it being her time. Right, but, but I, instead I of get, Cardi around me. I mean, yeah, ain't nobody saying nothing about that. Cause Meg be around Nikki. I mean, yeah, Nikki. She did a song with Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Like she, I think they got a song together though, Cardi and Meg. They do, they do. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like Meg got there for coming to fuck both of them up, showing what a real, yeah. a real. She really finna showing what a real natural crazy. boss supposed to do it. Yeah. I'm finna come in and mingle amongst these sharks, these women, Nikki. And goddamn Cardi, but I'm real though. I'm a real stallion, y'all. Right. This real ass. I don't know about the titties, possibly. You know what I'm saying? This is real natural body, and I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to do it and conduct yourself. Like I don't agree with the shit that she preaches, but I I agree with her business that she got going on. Like she making money, she feeding her people. Megan, you don't agree with? No, nah, I don't agree with the message to the mad to the masses. So far, as what just selling sex? Mm-hmm. But you agree with selling dope and? No, nah, I don't agree with none of that. I, saw, I would agree with that. Of that. You were saying that your favorite rapper, even the song you were playing, nah, right? What I'm saying, go ahead. I'm just saying. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking, yeah, 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 yeah. Mainstream radio. Yeah. What are they talking about? Money, Next. sex. Money, sex. You right, though. So what is the difference? Because she a woman, so she should conduct herself differently. You know, you just fucked my mind up right there. I ain't never, I ain't never even tried to think about it from that perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's like, and you right, though, because that's the ones that really make it. I don't, well, I don't think Nikki over-sexualized herself, though. Yes, yeah, she did. She did it. She did the. Yeah, I, I know sex sales. I do know that. But I just, I don't know. I just feel like she 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 teaching high-class prostitution. And it's like, everything is only for a minute anyway. You know what I'm saying? True. So these girls that, like you say, like the, even this hot girl, some of that just went on. Mm-hmm. Whenever that shit over with, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like she ain't teaching you how to get it on your own. She teaching you how to get it for it because she she was a goddamn stepping stone. I think the city girls was a launching pad for her. You know what I'm saying? It's like city girls was talking about it first. She came and she bossed that shit up. What they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But it's like it's still like promoting promotion of high class prostitution. But whenever that pussy ain't selling no more, what do you do? Okay, so I respond to that. For one, I feel like. Whatever she's speaking about, the high class prostitution is a response to what you males are talking about so far as tricking off on pussy. Yeah, so we gonna trick I don't. I really don't condone tricking off on pussy. All right, but you know this is a common thing amongst men. Yeah, you know, it ain't yeah, you got it. Yeah. Um, and what else you said? Um, yeah, I forgot. What? But the high class prostitution high and how goddamn, you know, uh, she jumped off, leaked off the city girl. She bossed up the high class oh, yeah. prostitution, and by the I mean, end she, of it, if you listen to her interview, she she'll tell you that she idolized PMC. That's dope. She from Houston too. 
Yeah. And he from Texas. I mean, I, Port I like, Arthur. I like PMC. Yeah. He taught me a PMC. You right. Look, you from Memphis though. It's like that's a core, direct correlation. Y'all got pimps and hoes out there in Memphis. So it's always got them. I guess it's like to each his own with that. Yeah. So all right, I fuck with it. I, I tell you, I, I can't retract what I said about Megan Thee Stallion, but I, I could be because I, I I fuck with her business movement. I get it. She gonna get the money doing what she doing. I just like I ain't like I just hate how women started acting. You know what I'm saying? Well, we that can't, shit. We can't forget about the rhapsodies we got. Yeah. The Kamayas we got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they ain't, they, yeah, that ain't in my realm of reality. Because one one thing, though, mm. about it, I don't, like, I fuck with women, you know what I'm saying? But be for real. It's not, and I'm not, when I say be for real, okay. I'm saying, like, on your radio. Okay. What you hear every day, what they're pushing. Rhapsody is not of the masses that's getting it. In the, in the mainstream and big radio world, like, right. people, it's a lot of people that probably ain't heard of Rhapsody. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel the same way about Rhapsody as I do Big Crick. Big Crick I love Big Crick. I fo- but you see what? See his positive message don't get heard by the masses though. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So you can't put them in the same conversation. So and I, I think a part of it, the reason why they don't get that same attention is because Cause they preaching good shit. Exactly. When you start you, talking, you need to ignorant. destruct shit, destroy yeah. shit. We ain't trying to get you to fix shit. We need you to destroy <laughs> it so we keep making money on these motherfuckers destroying they sell. Yeah. Cause they gonna depend on us. See, the government just want us to depend on them. So it, it, it crazy. How does all that have to do with the government, bro? The government control everything. That's why I be telling folks I don't want to go straight to that like that Bitcoin type shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will want to go on. Um, niggas will want to goddamn man. Bitcoin is the future. I understand that. I, I understand that. But you still got to think, whether whatever you believe in God or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that one world order thing is something that's really trying to push its way through faster than a motherfucker. Order, explain it to me. Like the world, you know, they want one currency, one, mm-hmm. one, basically like every, basically like monopolize everything. Everything like we gonna need, we gonna be gonna be dependent. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be dependent. And and, and think about that. If you got all your money, that all your money digital, right? Mm-hmm. If all your money is digital. You feel me? You got a government over you, right? Right. They can fuck you over whenever they want to. They can clo- They can go in there and digitally clean out your account, your digital account. Usually, erase some student loans while they. Yeah, they need to. They, they should have been did that. They should did that whenever they got damn breached us over there. Got there um with their Equifax or whatever. <laughs> they should have got damn guy. I want them to get. I hope they get rid of them before I pay them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how to um. You could do I this agree stuff. With you though, because um. Like I said, I was at the bank earlier, and the lady was telling me how Chase was planning on going all digital. So yeah. they was going to do away with debit cards. You good with that? Yeah. Yeah. They was, gonna, they was doing away with debit cards. So my whole thing is like... They got... Because they, um, they, got, they got ATMs that's cardless, too. Like, you can... Really? Huh? What do you want me to do with this? Yeah, do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got... um. They got ATMs that are that are um cordless, though. But what you were saying about Chase, though? Oh, how they basically they going away with debit cards, so you won't have, actually have like a physical debit card no more. You have to do everything through Apple Pay. Mm-hmm. And actually, Apple Pay. So I guess you gotta have to get you a smartphone, forcing everybody to get. Smart I fuck with that. I, well, 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 I fuck with that. Not because I fuck with it, but because I'm thinking about the Bitcoin and shit, and okay. I'm thinking about what's going on. They trying to compete. So I'm I'm fucking with that. So it's like it, it's like I mean I ain't gonna lie to you. The government ain't the best thing we well fuck damn you can't live with these bitches or live without them. But it like it like just think about it, like it's a lot of scamming and shit that can go on with that Bitcoin and shit. Niggas be goddamn getting all the, you know tricking niggas and shit like that. That's what I'm scared of. Like niggas virtually fucking me over. Yeah, nigga, you can virtually you can virtually get robbed every day if you goddamn <laughs> if your money is in digital. You know what I'm saying? You might be the corny ass nigga that go fill that bank account right back up right after you done got. Hey, you a sweet ass lick. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? Like, fuck that. I don't want my money to be digital. I still want to touch my shit like right. the old niggas did. You know what I'm saying? I want the old money to. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just feel like dope nation. Don't ever let these niggas make you believe that we should catch up with the times and go with you know. Technology, technology, yeah, it exists and it should always evolve, but not with your money. Your physical money, nah. You shouldn't make me, you shouldn't force me to have to use that. And if they force us to use that, we need to come up with our own currency. You feel me? Because one, if we don't need them, you feel me? We don't need they shit. If they shit ain't working for us, they gonna have to get rid of they shit. You feel me? 
if we still thrive in this shit off the shit we create, right. then like we got a goddamn strong on our government too, cause they do it to us. Fuck that. I feel like we should go back to the barter system. I fuck with that too. I yeah. fuck with the barter system. I right. fuck with shit. If I got this and I want what you got, hey, look, I got this right here. Yeah, shit, let's. Keep out here with skills and yeah, and but that's really what it's going to though. Yeah. It with with skills and shit. Yeah. You know, but with skills of technology, like they talking about, like IT gonna be a big thing. Yeah, like niggas need to get into IT because they, like that's big money in it because where we going? Yeah. With technology, so it, it's a lot of shit. I think that it's gonna be what your personal skills are that your at is gonna be your asset. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. going to be dope. So that means your face card got to be good, good. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, niggas ain't got no money in their pocket. You just get, you going places based on your goddamn, your face card. Right. Yeah, damn, your social goddamn, what it is, your social, um, um, your social, what's the word? You know what word I'm looking for too, huh? You looking yeah. like you know. Social, um. I know you're talking about, I can't think of the word. Yeah, you know how social media is? Like we social media, like social media friendly, like socially friendly, I guess. Yeah. Like we see, oh, he got a bag, got that. He only. It's gonna be like some black mirror. Yeah, that black mirror. You seen it? Like when you got it, like this girl, for y'all who haven't seen Black Mirror, yeah, I think that we're going. For y'all who haven't seen Black Mirror, they got different episodes for everyone. So don't think you just gonna be following the storyline of this story we're telling you. On this particular episode of Black Mirror, like this girl, she started off with a nice little score. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She got invited to like a wedding and was the best woman or whatever that is, the bridesmaid. You know what I'm saying? Right. But along this journey of life at this time, this time, y'all, in the future, or that was past. Which one? I don't know which one it was. It was Black Mirror, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, there was the past, so it has to be the future. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't go backwards. It has to be the future. Um... She was socially with her ranking and shit like that. She was able to do it. She was at, she was good. She, the girl liked her and everything. But you know, it goes it's levels to it, motherfuckers. Right. Right. <laughs> Once you got damn bre- you know, you fuck up and get up on the level, nigga. You can't fuck around with us. You can't sit at that table. All right, you big dogs. Mm hmm. Well, you need to read like that one. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's got damn levels to it. So. She started off at a good thing, but goddamn, by the time it was, t- you know, she had ran into some bumps, had some bag encounters, and people started bad marking her ass. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly what she's yeah, they started bad marking her ass, basically. <laughs> like, uh uh-uh, uh, she's not no good. Rude, bitch. Rude, rude hoe. <laughs> and she wasn't even trying to be. It was just them awkward moments that we have in real life now. Yeah. Like, some shit be good, some be bad. Yeah. But she started losing points. Then by the time she got the old girl, like, she ain't even know her, didn't even want to talk to her. You seen it? Just because she ain't had a high ranking. How people are in real life. That shit so in real life. Yeah. You say what? That's how people are in real life. They check your followers. Like, yeah. <laughs> that shit real crazy. I like what would you think though? Like Black Mirror good one though. Y'all should check that out. What would you think though if social media would do away with how many people following you, your likes, and you know what I'm saying? If they turn all of that off. Um, and people just really have to go off what your page look like and see if they if they want to fuck with you based on that. Shit. I would love to see what they look like. I personally think it's suicide rate go up. Why? Cause all them real, the motherfuckers that live for it. Yeah, all them likes is just personal satisfaction. You know yeah. What I mean? You getting some off of it causes a uh, what is it? The, Euphoric. Yeah. Um, type them of them um what they call them endorphins, endorphins. Uh, endorphins. Endorphins in your brain. They got damn go. I ain't gonna lie to you. It do though. Mm-hmm. It do. That shit. My fault. I nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Cause I I've been. You show sure? because I, you know, I'm a talker and I'll be holding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, like it's a lot of shit that we got to look forward to. We, I think it's, I think we should strong arm our government how they doing us. Like, I feel like we nothing but really like science project. I'm more yeah. comfortable with dealing with people that look like me because I know what to expect at the end of the day. When I deal with, it don't even have to be just white people. It can be Asian. It can just be anybody Yo. that's not black. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know really know how to, what to expect from you. Mm-hmm. It's culturally like we work different. Y'all look at things different. That's my my biggest fear. But as I'm getting older, I am learning to um, learn more. So quick little story. Yeah. I started. I do IT. So I started this uh, new job or whatever, working with a whole bunch of white guys. Yeah. I'm the only black chief. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Yeah. All right. So. Um, the whole time I can kind of every time I speak I can kind of feel them um, or I hear hear them in things that they say they being very condescending. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So <clears throat> for a while I was like I was kind of feeling some type of way. Yeah. 
Because when I, I was like, I'm going to distance myself because they nerds. They yeah. talking about like dragon con. Yeah. I'm just not interested in it. Yeah. And they think they better than me. Yeah. But one day, I just so happened to uh, sit ne- next to one of the guys yeah. that I work with. Yeah. And uh, just start a conversation. So yeah. he was being a smart ass. But what he didn't realize is I was a bigger ass than him. <laughs> so <laughs> it came to like battle, uh, basically a battle of words. Yeah. Just a mental gymnastics type thing. Yeah. Thing. Um, but at the end of the day, I end up learning a lot from him. In real life. In real life. Like, yeah. He is a nerd, but I end up benefiting. I, he, he actually sat down and told me, like we were talking about the certifications or whatever. He showed me what I needed to do, told me what I needed to do, told me how to get there, showed me how, how to how to get to it without even without even realizing he was giving me so much information. Yeah. He just looked at it as him being uh, better and more. Yeah. Advanced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the sh- Things that I use and I done that you've never heard of this, but I'm taking notes at the same time. Yeah, like I don't know about it now, but I'm but gonna I'm, know about it. Yeah, yeah. So back to what we were saying. Yeah, about when you were saying the web and spreading yeah. knowledge. I think with with black people, <clears throat> well, yeah, oh, maybe it's not all black people, but I know the group of people that I I grew up around. Yeah, game is not to be told; it's to be to sold. Be sold. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You you it, yeah, it, see see, but that that's what but. Think about that. Even with that thought that you saying that right there, mm. like that's that you from Memphis, like that, like what we said earlier, like so the play, the I'm, pimps I'm and players. Original, I, I'm sorry, yeah, regional thinker. I'm I, not, I, I ain't trying to say that, nah, but you, but you all I'm saying is that that's what it that's what it comes from though. Like it's just like like we all think we all taught shit and, and brought up a certain way. It's up mm. to us to break that though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's up to us to break it mm-hmm. because goddamn, we could. We could use that, and that shit could benefit. It could work. You know what I'm saying? It keep you where you at. Like mm-hmm. to get to where I'm at, I had to do this. Mm-hmm. Like fuck them, uh, and that's why I'm at. And I'm telling you this. Look, I ain't telling you this. So you got to assume that them telling you that way and got you thinking like that. Mm-hmm. That's what helped them get to where they were at. Right. And you see where they at. But to go different places and or, or do different things, you got to think differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that. You can't because it's like it's certain shit, and it ain't. I ain't even talking about no funny shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about real life shit. Like, goddamn, if I move to Memphis tomorrow, I have to adapt to the life of Memphis or how niggas move in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Either I'm gonna get with it, or I'm gonna get. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get lost. Cause think about it. If I come to Memphis, if I go to Memphis and try to live like and try to do everything I'm doing right here in Atlanta in Memphis, okay. you it ain't. Stages. Yeah, you feel me? Like, come on, so I can't move how I move in Memphis, like just off top. You know what I'm saying? I gotta goddamn learn it. You know what I'm saying? And learn how to do it the Memphis way. Right. Like, you gotta be a student of whatever you want to do. Like, you can't always think your way gonna work because it it don't work. It don't. The game. Yeah, it don't work to infiltrate the game. To learn, to infiltrate the game, you gotta learn the game. True. You gotta be a student first. True. You know what I'm saying? And once you, that was that was so fucked up by that. We want shit before we actually work for it. Ooh. You feel me? Yeah, we want shit before we work for it. That was just like a personal deal. You don't even know. Yeah. That. <laughs> we be got it be the personal for me too because it's like nigga, like you really be like. Think about it. Whatever you want to do, right? Whatever your passion is, mm. you think you're ready for it right here at this moment. You mm. could do it right now. Yes, yes, sir. Perfectly. No, the fuck you can't. Look, learn, learn as we go. You feel me? <laughs> you need to make them fucking bumps and shit on the road. Mm-hmm. Why crazy? Like, and I learned that alone because I'm like, right now, I'm like, man, I could goddamn, like, I could do, like, I just want to do radio right here in Atlanta, in the city. That's all I want to do, be on either V103. One of those, I want to always be the goddamn competition to 107.9, the Dirty Boys. But shit, I even fuck with the Dirty Boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I fuck with the 184.5. But it's just like I'm really a Georgia boy. And I really, I fuck with them. You Ferrari and goddamn. Yeah, like yeah but it's just like, ain't that one of them from Georgia for real. Mm-hmm. Atlanta. And they the 404 boys. So it's like, man, my mindset being how I am. Like, I'm like, man, these niggas ain't even repping my city right. But they cool. You know what I'm saying? It's funny that you said that. Going back to the guy that um, Dolph thing. Yeah. Dolph ain't even really from this. Yeah, he from Chicago. <laughs> I get it. Now I get it. I get you. Because mm-hmm. that's how I feel about when people be asking me about Lil Baby and the Baby. Which baby I like? Nigga, I like Lil Baby. Okay. Why? Because he from Atlanta. Nigga, I like the Falcons. Why? Because they from Atlanta. Like, nigga, when we... When we from, like, wherever... Uh, that's just what it is. You got to go for the home team. You lame if you don't ever ride for the home team. I agree. So I get that. And shit make you homier the more the homier you are. You know, <laughs> yeah. Dolph, you were good. You were good. We fucked with you in Memphis, but 
When it comes to Gotti, Gotti was born here. You wasn't. So we got to get to Gotti. I give it to you. I get it. Shit dope, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, with that shit, like I say, like we feel like whatever our passionate dream and shit like that, mm-hmm. when we want it, we want it right now. We don't want to work for it. Mm-hmm. We feel like we could be the best at it at the instance we want it. Like, mm-hmm. okay, man, I want to do this right now. Make it happen, God. So and mm-hmm. give it to us. Do you feel like um what? You can conceive what, like what is what's the saying? Basically, if you can think it. Yeah, I really happens. believe that. Like if you think it, yeah, I really, and it's crazy, and that's through actions that I believe that. Okay, so <clears throat> my dad used to tell me a long time ago. <clears throat> basically, everything is a is a, a state of mind. Yeah. Or a play of the mind. Psychology. Yeah. Yeah. You look good, you feel well for me. I know yeah. if I look good, I feel good. If I play feel good, good. I'm play good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That happened me so, in football when I played football in high school. So <laughs> I guess like just going into any skill, you saying people want you they wanna be um I guess good at something, they want things before they actually are able to work for it. Yeah. But if you feel like you got the mindset of That shit don't always work. You know, I always work. Go ahead though, I want you to finish that. If you feel like you got the mindset what? Uh, it's just I'm gonna take it on. I'm a I'm a beast. This I yeah, yeah. You know, just go in with that confidence of you know you don't think I always work work out that way. Nah, that shit. That's where you got phenoms and like sports and shit. Like shit is like that. It can be like that. Mm-hmm. You got LeBron James. Everybody ain't LeBron James. Everybody think they ready to go to the NBA though, and they were this nigga that didn't make it to the NBA because of the fact they just weren't good enough, and they were probably good as fuck. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It just certain shit is certain shit. But it's just like to if you ain't doing this shit every day, if you ain't you feel me, even from when you were a kid, like this some shit that these niggas like six, seven, eight, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know I'm going this way. I want to do this and this only, niggas and and they, and they doing that every fucking day, nigga. If you want to say you want to learn how to fly airplanes and shit like that, and math ain't your subject and science and question for you, what? Man. So. How we breed athletes, how we, you know, people are raised basically to be athletes. We, we do know that, right? Some of them, yeah, most of them. Most of them. The ones that go professional, they've been playing boss when they was young, and they've been in eight yeah. camps, and they've been playing basketball their whole entire life. Mm-hmm. So, um, other cultures, you know, they they tell their kids what they're going to go to school for. They tell them what they're going to do. You yeah. want to be a doctor. Do you agree with that? Like, you shouldn't really have free thought of which I mean, I guess you give them an option. Yeah. But whatever you do, you need to go to school for something like this. That's crazy. Like, like, I dated this chick. I was actually about to marry. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like her life was planned out. Like, because her sister went and she was an engineer. Went to Alabama and then she would be, graduated, became an engineer, worked for Lockheed Martin. It was a big ass company. So, then she got them, went to Alabama and then ran track. Same thing her sister did. Right. Um, graduated, engineering degree, working for Lockheed Martin. You feel me? Like, her sister lived in Denver. She moved to Denver mm-hmm. to work for Lockheed Martin. You know what I'm saying? So basically, like, she was out, they was out, like, they was like, life was planned. Right. I don't believe in that. Mm-hmm. I don't believe, I believe in that free, God give us free will. Why should our parents hold us? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After certain, like, if you done your job, as a parent, like if you, you got motherfucker to eighteen, you feel me, mm-hmm. and they going to college, you know they thinking on their own. You got to trust that everything that you taught them is what they know. I, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like it's too much. Uh, I don't know if I want to say too much freedom to do whatever you want or claim mm-hmm. whatever you want to be, but I feel like there's no longer. Well, I know nobody wants to be in a box. Right? Yeah. But yeah. at some point, in order to have control, or see that's what that's what I'm saying. Like it, it that really like I think it's crazy. It's like I think as human beings, like the way we develop and grow. Like I go think, ahead. I'm sorry. So I think I guess the influence. Yeah. The world, the world influence yeah. has changed so much that maybe, in my personal opinion, it's yeah. not like it's not such a bad you, idea. To yeah. It's it's thought. yeah yeah yeah. It, it ain't it ain't a bad idea, but it's like. To me, Mm -hmm. I feel like as human beings, how we develop and, you know, grow, like as we get older, we learn shit. 
right around. So I just really feel like it's your core values of your family. Like when you're in them, them teen years, 13 through like 17, mm-hmm. when you really changing, mm-hmm. you feel me? That's whenever shit really like you, because kids become more rebellious because they want to do what they want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And some of them shits they going to do and then they, some of them shit they going to do and they going to learn that, okay, I ain't finna do this no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we learn. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, I just feel like you just got to know that what you've been teaching is cool. It like, that they really took heed of it and been listening to you and, like, you really teaching. Like, we just, it ain't about goddamn from five, one all the way to 17. It is about that, man. I'm talking too much about it. But <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I think it start right there in them teen years. You got to grab them right there and goddamn mold them and goddamn school them whenever they can soak up the most knowledge. I think it starts way before the 10 years. Actually, I think at the age of 10, you should be able to I realistically fend for yourself. If something was to happen to both of your parents, yeah. at the age of 10, you should be okay. able to survive on your own. Damn, that shit crazy. It's real, though. Man, that shit is real. Because if you think about it, even in the time of the Holocaust, when pe- these kids were losing, losing their uh, parents, yeah. I mean, shit. They even had to fend for themselves. They had to fend for themselves. And also going back to the fact that we was talking about the whole the structure of the thought, training your child to go a certain way in life. And you were saying, you mentioned um, the lady in your, yeah. in your life or whatever. Um, I think that's a difference, though. How? I feel like it goes back to um, a, a sexist thing. Women are more uh, thoughtful, and they're going to be more, um, I think, you know, they're more, you know, just more thoughtful. They're going to plan things a little bit more than men. So, But so far as... The whole mm, free thinking thing. I'm a big vibes person, so I do yeah. believe I'm going off vibes. Okay. But at the same time, I feel like we all need to be working towards something. Yeah. So I feel like if I, at any point in your life and I ask you, damn, babe, what's up? Like, what you thinking? Yeah. It shouldn't just be like, I mean, at some point, I guess when we get to about like 60, you know, we straight, yeah. straight, maybe it's okay for you to answer me and you be like, shit, just... Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We like, I'm in my grind years and you talking about some, I don't know. That's a problem. Like, I need yeah. some plans, some yeah. thoughts, some ideas. But it, it's like, I mean, I don't think that's that's not a bad idea to be like, I don't know as long as you're working. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, hard, it's hard for some people to figure out really their purpose in life. You know what I'm saying? Or what they should be doing. You know, so it's like, it's just, that shit, I don't know. It's just... I feel, because it's like, niggas, we figure out shit late for some odd ass reason. Like, some of us get it good, some of us get it late. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. This shit's been, been dope, though. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And when I don't know shit, I got to go, y'all. It's okay. been dope ass podcast, goddamn. I fuck with Jerry. Y'all should fuck with Jerry. <laughs> Right? I fuck with y'all. In real life. Bye-bye. Next time, fuck with you how you fuck with me.